Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Koya Sudron I all built myself, and those parts are printed on my 3D printer, and the materials are PLA. Uh, this motor here is bought from Hobby King, and if you want to make the same thing, make sure make sure the propellers are balanced, and they're really, really off balance when I got it. Uh, those servos are really old servo. They're it came from a really old 450 size helicopter and they're not even digital servos because I try to they advertise as a digital servo but I put high speed PWM to it like really high frequency to it and it doesn't work so I'm only using uh, 50 Hertz for the servo down here are the ESCs and here is the servo controller from Adafruit. Actually, did I bought it from eBay? Yeah, I forgot. I think I bought it from eBay. Never mind. Um, this is this is the gyroscope I bought from Adafruit. It's a BNO055, and they advertise as the absolute orientation gyroscope. So it's more than a gyroscope. It works great, and also can get the raw data on it. Down here is the main controller which is the uh, little Adreno Mini Pro which is good enough for this project and that little guy there see the transistor there that is the inverter. The reason I have the inverter is because I'm using the S-Bus protocol. Uh, this is a free sky receiver. I'm only using the three wires coming out of it and that's all about it um by the way the battery here is 2.2 mr 3s also from hobby king so uh, let's take a look the code in the arduino i'm um, using all those libraries uh Futaba s bus library so basically there's not much in it you know the whole thing is only that much a lot of space and uh, those serial stuff are for debugging so now they are all coming out uh, basically I'm just taking the measurements from the uh, SBUS which is a human input put some strands on it because the SBUS uh, values are from 0 to 2000 and I want the strand I want to constrain it to those two number and this part here is taking a measurement of the gyroscope raw data uh, which are the angular rate of each of the axes here is the heading stuff here um, well, th this this is just the dead band. So when I when I inputting the uh, yaw on my controller, it actually give a heading reference. And but I don't want the stick. Well, it, it, if I pull the if I drag the stick to the to the one direction, it's gonna integrate that number, and then figure out the heading reference. Um, but I don't want this stick just sitting there and integrate by itself. So I only integrate after the stick passed certain month. So there's a dead band there. Down here are the uh, main control stuff here. So for yaw and uh, well, for the yaw control, it's pretty easy. Just uh, uh, COM3, which is a throttle and the yaw control here is pretty straightforward just the P controller that would work uh, yaw control again is here so figure out the arrow uh, the reason I'm having all this chunk here is just because uh, if if the helicopter rotated uh, past the the well, how, how should I say 
Well, you know what I'm saying if you look into it. All right, so those guys are hmm. Those guys are the control stuff here for the pitch and the row. All right, so event orientation Y is the Y axis, uh, which already being solved by the or the VNO zero zero five. That's that's an arrow, and then times zero point four. That's again, and minus the angular rate times twenty. And those numbers, you might want to change it because my tuning is still not very right, and I didn't spend too much time on it. I just got it working. And right now it's barely flying, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. Maybe I'm going to tune it later. Well, and those constraints there, I just want to make sure the servo does not move the whole thing too much for the mechanical reason, because if I move the servo too much, it's just going to destroy everything. And then, after all that, send it out to the servo controller, or the PWM controller. So yeah, so there's not much into it. Um, if you want the code, the code is right here. Uh, if you want, just do it yourself, because not much in it. If you want to build it yourself, just look at the screen and copy it write it by your own hand it's the best way to learn all right happy now all right so um i'm gonna tune it better definitely um and good luck in your project bye bye